Hello and welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Today, John Coleman and I get to speak with Manny Pacheco of Forgotten Hollywood fame and one of our favorite people in the world. Hi, Manny. Hi, Art. How are you doing? Manny, um, you are not only one of our favorite people, you're our go-to guy in Hollywood. And I, I, people don't realize, and maybe they do if you, they read your blog regularly, mm. Um, at mannypacheco.com. Is that correct? Uh, no, it's forgottenhollywood.com. Thank you, forgottenhollywood.com. I've <laughs> got to get that right. But um, maybe people don't realize how connected you are in Hollywood. I remember, in, in, I think it was at TCM, could have been at Cinecon. You introduced us to a bunch of, I call them movers and shakers. These are the people who actually live and work and run Hollywood at a different level. And one of them was the guy who owns Larry Edmonds Bookshop. And, right. and the, the great uninitiated may not know about Larry Edmonds, um, but, but I want you to tell us about it because people need to know mm. it's a real resource. Well, you know, along Hollywood Boulevard, there's a lot of what they call curiosity and, of course, uh, uh, souvenir shops that, that do carry books. But for the cinephile, the individuals who really want to read books about films, uh, Larry Edmonds is the place to go. And, and, and the Hollywood Heritage Museum led me to uh, the Larry Edmonds bookshop. And, uh, and I'm pleased to say that my books are carried there, the entire Forgotten Hollywood book series. And I've become uh, uh, friends with uh, uh, the gentleman who owns the shop. Uh, he calls himself The Lair, for Larry Edmonds, obviously. Uh, his name is Jeffrey Mantor, and he has owned the shop, I believe, since 1991. But obviously, the shop's been there since the 1950s, and the bookshop was actually started in, as back as the 1930s. So it's really got all of Hollywood's golden age behind it, and, and, and The Lair has worked very hard at maintaining the luster of what Hollywood's golden age should be about. And so um, they, do, they do a lot of things there, so. Yeah, well, they have a, a, a terrific online presence. Um, I know they're, they're well known for posters, Hollywood posters, right. original posters, and right. stuff you can't find anywhere else. And I get, I, I'm not sure to what degree, but I, I get the impression they're, very involved in a lot of Hollywood auctions, memorabilia auctions, things like that. And I know for sure that they have a whole um, category of, uh, what do you call them, scripts mm -hmm. uh, that, you can, that you can buy, scripts and- um, Screenplays, mm -hmm. uh, teleplays. Yeah, oh yep. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm really a, mem a memorabilia store, but I mean, obviously the, uh, the books are the thing. Um, a couple of things I want to mention, you know, COVID hit all businesses really hard and it particularly hit Larry Edmonds hard because a lot of his real charm was to be at the store and discussing these posters and memorabilia, sure. the scripts and screenplays, going and perusing through the books. And so what, what the Lair did is that he would go online and he would like list a number of books and just by just stacking them, he would film them and then he would he would post and, and get people excited about maybe purchasing some of the books uh, through the mail. And now I'm sure that didn't replace what he was selling, you know, previous to COVID. Right. And, and of course he couldn't have any of the really wonderful events that he's had over the years. And, and matter of fact, before we went on the air uh, here, uh, Art was mentioning some of the folks who have appeared over the years at Larry Edmonds Bookshop. You have that list, Art? I do want to defer to you. I didn't want to. I know recently, while, while Art's looking, uh, I can tell you recently they had Nancy Olson there. Mm -hmm. And Nancy Olson was the Academy Award nominated uh, co star of the movie Sunset Boulevard. She plays the young love interest to William Holden. She's the other woman to, of course, Gloria Swanson. Uh, um, Jack Webb was going to marry her in the film. And so Nancy Olsen is really iconic and, and she made an appearance. George Shakiris has been there recently, as has um, George Stevens, the, of course, the iconic director. But uh, the, historically, they've had some great uh, book signing events. And you have that list, Art? No, I actually I don't. I, I brought it up on the internet uh, as I want to do. But I, I just don't have the, your kind of memory for this stuff. Yeah, over the, I think I, I, you had mentioned when we were talking, uh, Quentin Tarantino yeah. had been there. And then 
And then, of course, uh, Tarantino to really pay homage to Larry Edmonds' bookshop. Of course, it's featured in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Right. So, by, by the way, um, uh, being now a Californian as opposed to my earlier life for the first uh, 40 or or so years in the, uh, uh, the East Coast. The only thing that I've known out here, and uh, uh, John, I'm going to have to challenge you that the next time we're up doing TCM or one of the other activities with um, uh, Manny, that uh, I, I know it's at, on Hollywood Boulevard, I think it was 6644. It's such a memorable uh, address. Uh, we ought to actually uh, uh, call the Lair or Jeffrey and see if we can go there and maybe do uh, a little interview with him there. Because that the only be other the, the only other thing the only other thing that I know that's even like that, uh, if it still exists, is the Amoeba Record Stores. Uh, I think there were one or two of them left that really have a flavor. Music, yeah, yeah, you're right about that. You know, that's a that's a very good uh, comparison. Of course, Amoeba for records, uh, Larry Edmonds for books. I uh, you know it's it's just it's just a homey, wonderful place where you can actually chat with the owner of i mean talk about the ultimate mom and pop location but you can just sit and, and have a conversation with the owner of the place he loves to take selfies with the people who come by and visit uh if, if they happen to be notable even the better and i've seen literally dozens of selfies on, on on social media of him with whoever happens to be the guest that day he, he took a selfie with me a year back after COVID finally let up. And so, I mean, he, he's just a very, he, he, he's just a real guy. And now on his off time, just, I, I, I should mention this, he loves to uh, visit the upper, the hill grounds of Hollywood. And he, for, 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 for Jeffrey, his downtime and his joy in life is to be able to, 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 to look at the Hollywood sign and to experience <laughs> the Hollywood hills. And yeah. all of the fauna and flora that go with that. I, I think he does some runs. I think he, he runs. And then, of course, uh, he'll go to movie screenings. He loves to go to the Arrow Theater, theater I believe, in Santa Monica. Uh, he goes to all of these um, these screenings when he can. And uh, many times he sets up uh, book signings uh, off-site, like he did at the Turner Classic Movies Festival. He was there all three days with uh, sure. books of whoever the authors happened to be that particular moment. And so he, you know, for him, obviously the Oscars, the festivals, Christmas, these are big times for the, for the bookshop. And I, I really, if, if you, if you happen to be wanting to be a tourist and you want to visit the Hollywood Heritage Museum and you want to see the Hollywood sign and you want to visit the Paley Center Museum or maybe the Academy Museum now at the, at the, uh, along the Miracle Mile, a must stop has to be Larry's uh, Larry Edmonds books uh, bookstore on 6644 uh, uh, Hollywood Boulevard. It's kind of catty corner to Musso and Frank's, which is another great place if you want to eat really great food. But anyway, it's, it's not across the street, but it's kind of catty corner adjacent uh, uh, across the street from it. And uh, it's just a must must go to place if you happen to be a tourist and cinephile. And I, re I just heartily recommend you visit uh, Larry Edmonds bookstore. As for, yeah, any, and I, for I all just, the wannabes out there, uh, uh, since uh, we know that uh, uh, the lair, uh, uh, Jeffrey is more than happy to take uh, uh, some uh, uh, selfies with you. Uh, and then you could post it on uh, Facebook or whatever social media account is, is still around uh, those days. So if you want to, you could be like almost famous uh, by going in there and because uh, he'll, he'll probably be easy enough to accommodate you. I'm sorry, John, you were going to say. I was just going to say, uh, it is a real iconic uh, a place in Hollywood, and and Jeffrey is uh, or the Lair is really kind of one of those unknown famous people. I don't know how to uh, quite put him in there. <laughs> he's a, he's a personality. He's truly a personality. Everybody who works and lives in Hollywood knows who he is, and they know Larry Edmonds Bookstore. So, um, and if you if you ever lost and looking for something to do. Go on to Manny's website, ForgottenHollywood.com, read his blog, and and go down that list of references. And Larry Edmonds' store is on that. 
Mm. Yeah, and I would also recommend that you go to his website directly, uh, the Larry Edmonds website. Uh, obviously, as John mentioned, it's got lots of information, lots of uh, uh, ways I think you can search for books, which is also a really a, a good thing to do if you want to purchase a specific book. And uh, again, I'm really thrilled that the Forgotten Hollywood book series are, are there too. And he always figures my books prominently, which I really appreciate as well. So yeah, it's it's a great time and it's a great place. And you know what? The smell of books, there's there's no no beating them. Even if they're used books, books smell great. And you're just going to feel, you're going to feel all the sights, sounds, and smells of Larry Edmonds' bookshop. So. Mm. The smell of the book. Uh, mm -hmm. By the way, we'll have to make sure to put it's LarryEdmonds.com, and that'll be okay. in the description down below so you can visit that. ForgottenHollywood.com, perhaps second only to CelebratingAct2.com, the most important uh, uh, URL web address in the universe uh, as far as these three people are concerned. So anyway, thank you once again, uh, Manny, for this wonderful visit to things that are not so well known about Hollywood, forgotten Hollywood. Well, thank you guys. It was always a pleasure. And thank you for letting me share my time with the, the Larry Edmonds community of fans. So that's great. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.